kind of winging it here so we'll see see how this goes Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Grumpy Snail Podcast. I'm shaking the camera already. Where the news is made up, and my opinion doesn't matter. I am your host, Jonathan Snyder. Thank you for joining me today. If you like these videos, make sure you click that like button. Uh, make sure you share these videos and also subscribe to the channel. If you're viewing from Rumble, please hit that Rumble button. Uh, if you have any questions uh, or suggestions, there is a comment section. I do respond to comments, criticisms, even if they aren't in the comment section. I'll uh, do it live. I upload a video every Sunday at noon, and possibly you may see a short every now and then. I'm actually working on a, 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 a not a short, but a short video because I found some footage while I was editing, so... That's kind of cool. It's always nice to have some extra, extra footage. Uh, so, you know, make sure you keep track of the channel. Check back every now and then because there may be something that, uh, you know, showed up that wasn't on a Sunday at noon where I post my normal videos, right? So, I put this whole thing off long enough. Uh, if you uh, look in the description below, if I remember to put it there... <laughs> Uh, you will see a link to my merch store. Um, there are only a couple options at the moment, but uh, if it seems like something people are interested in, uh, I will add more options. I will add uh, more designs and stuff like that. Uh, it just depends on uh, you know what people are interested in. We'll see. Well, it's a fly by the seat of our pants kind of thing. Uh, things are priced reasonably uh, compared to recommended prices and compared to other sellers. So. Uh, Profit margins are recommended to be like 20% or something ridiculous, and I'm totally not interested in that at all. Uh, I, I'm not running a get-rich scheme, so uh, you look at my options, see what I've got, uh, and uh, if you would like to purchase something, purchase something. Uh, it's all done through that store. They handle all the businesses. All I do is upload uh, my design, okay? So it's if you have any issues with the store, like I currently having where I ordered... Uh, something and it's been a month and I still haven't got it yet. Uh, you know, that's that's going to be on the store. Uh, so um, I don't believe there has uh, ever been. Wow, I'm just jumping into it, right? Okay, well I don't believe there's ever been a government administration in my lifetime that hasn't been uh, corrupt. Uh, this past week we got the Durham report. Uh, headlines from the report include uh, Biden being briefed on the Clinton involvement in Trump-Russia hoax. Uh, FBI offered to pay Steele uh, one million, yeah, one million dollars for uh, anti-Trump evidence. Uh, paid possible uh, Russian spy despite knowing his info was bad. Uh, the Obama admin, the Obama administration, had no actual evidence of collusion by Trump when it launched the uh, investigation Crossfire Hurricane, which was the uh, Russia-Trump collusion investigation. Uh, the Newsweek reported this as uh, Durham-Trump-Russia report is another black eye for FBI. Uh, Fox News reported it as FBI displayed um, markedly different treatment of the Clinton versus the Trump campaigns. And uh, Jake Tapper from CNN reported uh, the, Drum the Durham report is devastating to the FBI and to a degree it exonerates Trump. How did the New York Times report this? In the final Trump in the, well, in the final report, Trump Air Special Counsel denounces Russia investigation. And nothing will come of this. Nothing at all. So, you know, there are at least uh, five whistleblowers that have come forward against uh, the Biden family. And uh, they range from an IRS agent to an Obama admin stenographer and encompassing alleged corruption in Ukraine and Mexico, along with the FBI and the DOJ. 
Uh, there's another report out about how the IRS fired an entire group of investigators probing into the Hunter Biden uh, thing, you know, the laptop thing, and a whistleblower included accused them of retaliation. So, I mean, nothing's going to come of this. Not, nothing ever comes of this. I don't know why we, we worry about it or watch it in the news. Uh, but there it is. It's all there, all corrupt. And speaking of corrupt, the Washington Examiner has an article about the National Archives who says that every president since Ronald Reagan uh, has mishandled classified documents. Every single freaking one. And it's probably not, I mean, I'm not saying the presidents, I'm saying the administrations as a whole have all mishandled classified documents. Every single one, there's no system of document tracking in place, so why was Trump the only one who was raided by the FBI? Damn good question. I refer to my previous statements. I covered this once before, but I'm going to cover it again. Uh, this story about uh, the Marine Daniel Perry in New York is just another example of how Democrat administrations uh, don't want you. And I say Democrat, but I should just say, you know, any administration. We're talking about corrupt administrations, right? Every single one of them have been. They don't want you to be able to defend yourself. Uh, you know, it's... They criminalize the ownership of firearms, the, the ownership and use, you know, of firearms. Uh, then they allow criminals to wander around. They, you know, no cash bail, that sort of thing. They don't prosecute these, DAs don't prosecute these crimes. Uh, they let, you know, these criminals wander around, you know, violently threatening and attacking people. And then <clears throat> when uh, someone uh, defends themselves or somebody else, they criminally prosecute you. Uh, which is exactly what is happening right now to this Marine. And it's also why the GoFundMe, the Set for Defense, has raised millions of dollars in his defense. Because people see this crap and, you know, they see it as crap. Uh, people don't want to live in a society like this. They, which is funny uh, because uh, that's the society that they're voting for. The Intercept, uh, remember The Intercept, has released an article covering how the Biden administration has sold weapons to 57% of the world's autocratic countries in 2022. <sighs> democracy dies in darkness. We're supposed to be all about democracy. Since the Cold War, the U.S. has been responsible for about 40% of all arms exports in any given year. I wonder if that includes all the uh, military equipment that's been sent to Ukraine. I wonder if that includes the uh, 500 million in military aid that we're about to send to Taiwan. I'm sure uh, one more proxy war won't hurt a bit. It's also depressing and aggravating. Uh... There are, you know, some great news about our uh, illegal immigration situation since Title 42 had ended. I mentioned it last uh, last podcast. Uh, Mayor Eric Adams in New York, New York City, uh, has asked a judge to revisit the city's sanctuary city law. Which makes sense, you know, considering that they're housing these illegal immigrants uh, in schools where kids go to school. Uh, so, yeah, the sanctuary city thing isn't working out all that great when you just let everyone in. An article from the Washington Examiner says that illegal immigrants are receiving court dates that are 10 years, 10 years after crossing the border. But I'm sure that's okay. I'm sure be, they'll be fine. Just, you know, waiting around till then. Ten years later. Uh, some states are, instead of questioning their dumb policies, are just instituting more dumb policies. And, of course, we're talking about California. Uh, California, who wants to give uh, these people unemployment benefits. You know, it makes sense. 
that everyone would come here. I mean, as bad as uh, this place is, still the greatest nation. We're just giving away money, you know, giving away money, giving away weapons, just giving it away. It's like a fire sale. Uh, the WNBA player Brittany Griner knows that all too well now that she spent a little bit of time in a Russian prison. She kind of appreciates the country and the national anthem a little bit more now. So, this next story isn't really, uh, uh, let's see, isn't really a commentary on a new story, but uh, 30 tons of ammonium nitrate left by rail from Wyoming on its way to California. And when it got there, the rail car was empty. So that's the thing. Uh, don't worry. They're investigating it. <sighs> like they investigated that uh, train derailment in Ohio. Oh, and if you're wondering, ammonium nitrate is a, a fertilizer. Uh, but also can be used as a high explosive. And, you know, it was probably taken by one of those white supremacist terrorist groups that Biden keeps talking about. I'm a little surprised about that, considering there was an article in the Wall Street Journal journal about how, uh, you know, TikTok feeds teens a diet of darkness because it pushes videos of self-harm, sad posting, disordered eating, you know, that's probably why states like Montana are now banning the app. Though I thought you could get around stuff like that with a VPN. I, I don't know. I'm not, like, a, I'm not a computer person. But, you know, white supremacy, that's a bad... That's, that's, that's the worst thing that we could be dealing with right now. Not the economic collapse or the... The immigrant invasion or... Uh, the Chinese... TikTok app or the threat of nuclear war in Ukraine or the threat of war in Taiwan or nope nope white supremacy that's 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 it that's the problem <sighs> yep that's why everybody is black pilled over the future of society on this planet. I talked about Diane Feinstein before, about being absent. Well, now that she's back, she doesn't remember being gone. Because she's demented. Uh, you know, but these are the type of people that uh, the Democrats support. You know, Republicans will support liars and Democrats will support incompetent people. But they're not that incompetent because they will just vote down the party line, which is all that matters. Uh, I don't know why. We are voting for people. We should just vote for a robot or an AI that votes down the party line in the certain, like, state or county or whatever, whatever it may be. Uh, people like this John Fetterman guy who uh, tries to grill a corrupt bank exec, but because his brain doesn't work, uh, no one can understand what he's saying. So you have to have people like the New York Times write up a whole thing that makes it sound like he's coherent, and he really isn't. You know, more Americans are struggling to make ends meet. Now more than ever, uh, now more than even after, right after the pandemic, uh, Census Bureau data shows that nearly 40% of U.S. households can't pay expenses. Uh, existing home sales fell by like 3.4% in April to a seasonally adjustable rate of 4.28 million. And I know that's just numbers you don't quite, you know. But, you know, it's down. According to a report by the uh, National Association of Realtors, uh, consumer electric bills, you know, will substantially increase uh, beginning in June, due in part to the Green New Deal policies promoted by the Biden administration, according to reporting by the Daily Caller. There are also reports out that perhaps lab-grown meat is more devastating to the environment than the old-fashioned version. You know, cattle? That's a good thing. All those reports about red meat being bad for you was, quote, weak evidence and lazy science, according to a scientist at the University of Washington Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation. 
Another case of civil asset forfeiture is being tried in Texas. We talk about it. Talk about it being this great time. I mean, this is in Texas. This is where where <laughs> where things are supposed to be. You know, great. It's a great Republican red state where it's freedom and and the police are just taking your shit. Uh, this happened in Texas after a Harris County Sheriff deputy stole more than forty thousand dollars from a guy who was uh, you know just traveling to the area to use the money to on his trucking business, just going to buy a new truck. But now that's the government's money. And lastly, but not leastly, uh, I got uh, a disgusting report from the Summit News, and I wasn't going to type this up. I'm going to read it straight from the news article right here. And the article title is entitled, The Who, Not the Band, the World Health Organization, pushes, quote, early childhood masturbation for toddlers encourages questions about gender identity for kids aged four. They're coming for your kids. Uh, as reported by the Daily Mail, the guidance states that children under four should be encouraged to, quote, ask questions about sexuality and, quote, explore gender identities. The 68-page report titled Standards for Sexuality Education in Europe also calls for supplying information to toddlers about, quote, enjoyment and pleasure when touching one's own body, early childhood masturbation. The policy paper also states that kids between four and six years should, quote, talk about sexual matters and, quote, quote, consolidate their gender identity. The document also asserts that sexuality is presented from birth, claiming, quote, from birth, babies learn the value and pleasure of bodily contact, warmth, and intimacy. Soon after that, they learn what is clean and what is dirty, adding, in other words, they are engaging in sexuality education. This is the World Health Organization. These are the people that were supposed to keep you safe from COVID and other health things it's just this is so gross i don't know why this crap keeps happening i don't know why you people keep voting for this i don't know why you allow this to happen and i don't think I ever will but uh you know if you're not sufficiently grumpy by this point make sure that you tune in next week for another video, I thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me today on this great podcast of news information and of all things that make me, for one, grumpy. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, thank you for listening. If you like this video, make sure you click the like button. Uh, make sure you share this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that rumble button, you know? Go over and uh, view things on rumble because when you say the truth, you get kicked off YouTube. That's what happens. Or when you just say, when you just say things, because you're not allowed to say things. <sighs> Make sure you tune in next Sunday at noon for another video right here from SOB Studios. Watch out for those shorts. Watch out for those short videos. They can be random, and they are random. <coughs> and while the first one that I threw out gave, got me like 40 views, the last one I threw out only gave me six, so... It really is hit or miss. Uh, also, check out that store link I put in the description box below. If I remembered, there may be something there for you. Uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me. Good night. God bless. Cheers. Godspeed.